What's up guys? Uh, back here for another Tech Tip Tuesday. Uh, today we're gonna go over the T1 Graco transfer pumps. Uh, this is the two to one pump. This is probably one of the most common ones that I see out there, especially in the bedliner world. Uh, and there's a lot of questions about it. So this one just happened to come in and it doesn't work. So kind of want to show you what's going on with it. It's stuck in the top stroke. All right, makes one stroke and that's it, it stops. So what we want to do now is figure out why that's happening. So I'm gonna take this, cut the air off. We're gonna start with the top cap here. All right, so right now, my valve is at the very top stroke. It stopped just shy of being able to hit this spring right here on the top cone. So this cap right here has a spring in it. And that spring's a conjugal spring. So it tapers down and it should make contact with the top of your diaphragm uh, inside your pump here. So if it stops short and it can't make full contact with this spring, it's not gonna divert the air in the opposite direction and make it go down. So what we had done, let's pop the spring out. trying to force this thing to work. I took a screw, I'm sorry, a bolt and a nut that fit perfectly in the bottom of this spring. Oh, I'm not showing anybody anything. So if you look, now I've added length to that spring to make contact when that pump comes all the way up. So that way it hits it and diverts it back down in the opposite direction. So now I've got this here. Screw it back on, we've got the nut and the bolt. Um, put it on that spring so that way we're creating more of a distance for that spring to make contact. Now we're gonna take our air, plug it back in, turn our air on. pumping away so chemicals a little cold right now so it's not moving as fast as it should but we know what to expect so now that it's working I've created a more of a distance for that spring to make contact with the, the, the pump itself with a diaphragm in there now I know that that springs the problem because it's working just fine if I shorten the stroke so now I'm gonna pop this out I'm going to go to my Graco kit here, part number 247958T1 upper rebuild kit, has a brand new spring in it. Instructions, I don't need those. You got your lower spring gasket for the top, gasket for the diaphragm itself, gasket for the lower, there's the diaphragm. Remove this. Take that off. Now we're gonna start by removing this diaphragm right here. I'm going to use a crescent. It's cut out on the bottom to where you can hold it with a wrench. And it's designed up top. It's serrated to where you can take a pair of pliers and unthread this in order for the rebuild. Now you got a washer. Don't lose it. Keep it somewhere nearby. Now I'm gonna to go to the next step and remove the entire top portion. Okay, pull that out. Remove this. Remove that lower spring. Now, 
this is what a lot of people don't know there is a gasket in there and that's the one when people go to rebuild this pump most people forget about it or don't even know that it exists and that one has a lot of friction on it so we're going to move all the seals And take this o-ring out right there, right there. remove that let me go ahead and clean it crap out of there. I say crap. Okay. All right, get it clean. Grab your new lower seal. down there it's gonna seem a little big but it fits in there perfectly take the new one here and it goes inside right there Now, this should have a little play in it, just a little bit of wiggle room. You see it moving? That's how it diverts air from one direction to the other, and I'll show you how here in a second. These are a little tricky. So there's three O-rings right here, and those tubes are pass-through tubes. So be sure not to lose any of those parts. All right. And this is a seal surface. So since we have a rebuild kit, this one's in good shape. Usually when they go bad, they blow out. So this thing would either be raised around the edges or it'll be gone completely so this one's in good shape we're gonna keep it so we got this torn down we're gonna add the new o-rings onto this piece it comes with a brand new top diaphragm gasket one thing you got to remember is that it goes the right way you see there's a short end and a long end the threaded end see the threads threaded end goes down and then this goes like that push the screws through Kind of just set the O-rings in the right spot here. Push that through. Like that.
Take your three tubes, little brass tubes, push them all the way down. It's kind of like an air pass through and a spacer. kind of tricky but if you get everything started or at least one of these started the other two aren't so bad make sure you got that black piece down so it's silver on top get it started make up the other two. These don't have to be super tight, and that's it. So, got everything back together. Should have a little bit of slack. So this is gonna go up on the upstroke. The air's pushing the bottom of this to where these three O-rings seal off, and it goes all the way up. When it gets to the very top of the stroke, it makes contact with the spring right here that pushes down and then opens up the gap on the bottom. So it's like that, pushes down, opens up on the gap on the bottom. Now air's passing through those brass tubes, filling up the cavity up here and pushing it down in the opposite direction. And let's seal for the top cap. See, it seems kind of big, but if you push it all the way down past the threads, seals off no problem now on this piece we're going to put the spring on first now you want to make sure that you don't see any heavy damage scarring major scratches or anything because that's going to damage that new seal that you just put in on the inside so it should go like that hold back up with your wrench don't forget this piece it off, clean it off. This washer has to go on first, and then you can put this on. Take the pliers, snug it up, take the wrench off. I might clean this tube out. You also want to check this area for any scarring inside of here so that way it doesn't damage that brand new o-ring you just put on right here now the spring you just push it in normally you can take both thumbs and put enough pressure to get it to snap in if it doesn't go all the way down Take a little screwdriver and push it down and pop right in. But what we're looking for is one coil pass level. You're gonna say, so take some uh, TSL, the Graco lubricant, do a ring around it, let it flow down, and then push the top tube on. 
kind of have to work with that O-ring to get it to sit down. And this just has to be snug. That's it. Nothing crazy. Same thing with our top cap. We got a brand new O-ring here. I'll just put a little bit here. Same thing. Snug it up. Now, it's got this little ball shape on the top of this pump right here. That little ball, little ball right here. If you look on the bottom of this, I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up, but there's a keyway. There's a keyway inside here where it's cut out for that ball to fit, and then the middle of it's notch. Where you shouldn't be able to pull it up. Now, if I push it forward, it'll come right off. So you kind of feel for it. You can't pull up. You know you're locked in. Thread this bad boy all the way back down. All right. Now, every day I like to use some TSL inside my pump. That way it keeps those O-rings and new seals and everything lubricated. These pumps generally last a long time as long as you keep them well lubricated. Um, and I do it on daily. So I plug it in, this thing should be firing away.